dynamic programming it is a design technique wherein you can solve a problem which is defined by or formulated as recurrences with overlapping sub instances this is invented by american mathematician richard feldman in 1915 dynamic programming was used to solve optimization problems later it was it is used by computer science subjects programming here means planning the main idea behind dynamic programming is you are required to set up a recurrence relation solve smaller instance only once record solutions in a table then finally extract solution to the initial instance from the table so this dynamic programming is more suitable for the problems involving overlapping sub problems so let me repeat it once again this dynamic programming is more suitable for the problems which is defined by recurrence relation that to overlapping which involves overlapping sub problems so recurrence related overlapping sub problems can be solved by using dynamic programming approach so the main idea here is you are required to set up a recurrence relation solve smaller instance once record solutions in a table finally extract solution to the initial instance from the table next we will see how you can solve fibonacci numbers by using dynamic programming already you know the recursive definition for uh, finding the nth fibonacci number that is fn equal to fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2 and the base conditions are f0 equal to 0 and f1 equal to 1 in order for, in order to find out the nth fibonacci number in recursive call it will be called for n uh, fn and fi- uh, then it will be called for fn minus 1 fn minus 2 finally it will be terminated with f0 or f1 so this is called top down approach when you do like this you will be having many overlapping sub problems so you are solving this sub problems more than once for example here when you want to find out fifth fibonacci number it will be called for f4 and f3 in turn f4 called for f3 and f2 and f3 f3 is called for f2 and f1 so like this it will be called uh, more than once f2 is called more than once f3 is called more than once so like this you are solving smaller sub instances more than once so this kind of recurrence related overlapping sub problems can be solved by using dynamic programming uh, here let me explain how you are finding the solution here in order to find out f2 f1 plus f0 that is equal to 1 again f3 can be found like this f2 plus f1 that is equal to 2 and f4 is 2 plus 1 3 and f5 3 plus 2 so it's equal to 5 this is how it will backtrack and give the value for the nth fibonacci number this is normal recursive tree call so we'll see how we can find the solution by using dynamic programming so in dynamic programming instead of uh, using top down approach we'll use bottom up approach here and uh, record the values in the table and whenever you want to find out the solution for larger instance retrieve the values from the table and substitute with that you will be getting the solution for the larger instance so you can avoid solving the sub instances more than once so we'll see how this uh, fifth fibonacci number can be found by dynamic programming approach so first record values f0 and f1 then how do you find f2 f2 can be found by f1 plus f0 so 1 plus 0 is 
then F3 can be calculated by F2 plus F1 that is 1 plus 1, 2 then F4 can be calculated from previous column plus previous to previous column that is 2 plus 1 equal to 3. Finally, F5 can be calculated by using previous column value is 3 plus 2 that is equal to 5. This is what dynamic programming approach here. Okay. So, the dynamic programming approach is most suitable for the problems which can be solved by recurrences that is recurrence related overlapping sub problems can be solved by using dynamic programming. Here you are not solving more than once here sub problems are solved only once and in order to find out the larger sub instance you can make use of the values which is already found for the smaller instance and which is recorded in the table. So this is how you can avoid calculating solution for the smaller instance more than once. Instead of finding the solution more than once, you are finding only once. So finally, we will see the examples for dynamic programming. That is to compute binomial coefficient, we can use dynamic programming longest common subsequence, then Warshall's algorithm to find transitive closure of a graph, then Flight's algorithm to find all pair shortest path and to construct on optimal binary search tree and some optimization problems like traveling salesman problem, knapsack problem can be solved by using dynamic programming approach.